In this video, we'll learn how we can create completely custom icons for Notepad++. So here you can see I have these Star Wars themed icons that I have enabled in Notepad++. Uh, this actually came about as one of the questions that the user asked uh, in one of the videos in which I showed how to basically change the, the toolbar icons and so on. But what if you want completely customized, you know, maybe your, your own picture or anything like that. And so if you go to settings, if you go to preferences, there is a way to change the toolbar icon settings. But again, these are the one that came up with Notepad++. And so in this video, we'll just try to play with this and then see if we can create our own custom icons. These are all fully functional. So if I click on this, it'll open a new icon. This is a save. Again, you can open and there is a save, save all. And then, you know, there's a cut, copy and paste. So it's pretty fun sort of project that I I tried. And, and actually, it's it's incredibly easy. And so the very first thing you will have to do is find a good icons, right? Now, you may already have some icons in mind, but I just Google online and found this site, icon-icons.com. And I found that they really have a pretty good set of icons. So I just searched for Star Wars. But again, you can look at any of those. And then the good thing is uh, all of these icons, are, they also have it in PNG but also in ICO, which is an icon format. And so we need uh, ICO format uh, in order to actually change our to our Notepad++ icons. And so what I found is this particular site automatically provides that. There are other places where you can find icons, but they usually do not provide uh, .ICO file. Now, so let me just show you one example. For example, I have this one, and I want to download it. I just went to ICO. Uh, 512 is, uh, is the different pixel uh, sizes so you don't want this big icon but uh, you don't want to pick very low one also because if you have a high resolution then it may not look very good so what i found is 128 pixel or 256 is a pretty reasonable amount and so i'll go 256 and click download and it should actually download uh, you will see pretty soon it just downloaded that file right so you can see that this is the name of the icon dot ico file right and usually it's in your downloads folder so the main fold, uh, file that we need to actually work on is called these toolbar icons.xml, uh, sorry. Uh, and usually it's in the app data and roaming folder. And so when you install Notepad++, usually it also puts some of the data into these app data folder. Uh, so usually if you go and try to open uh, directly that, uh, so let's go to C and go to users. Let's say this is my, oops, uh, sorry about that. Yeah, this is my uh, like a local folder. And if you try to find app data, sometimes it doesn't show it's hidden. So you almost have to type this. And so here is the full path. Uh, and it's most likely be the same for you, for your case as well. So it'll be C users and then your username, app data. And there's a roaming folder, and under that there's a Notepad++ folder. And inside this folder, you should see a file called toolbaricons.xml. And so that is the file that I'm looking at. Uh, it's right here. It's just in a plain uh, XML file. And it has a pretty good description, but of course, you know, who has the time to read this, through this all, right? So it's actually really easy to, to work on this. And so I'm going to show you. Uh, so as you saw, I just downloaded a ICO file, the icon file. And then what we need to do is we need to go to that folder. And then I'll go one level up at Notepad. And then we need to create a folder called Toolbar Icons. Okay, usually it does not have a Toolbar Icons folder. And so simply create a Toolbar Icons. And then you need to create another icon, a folder. Uh, again, this allows you to have multiple set of icons, even depending upon your mood. So uh, that's the whole idea. So instead of putting all your icon file here, you can, you need to create another the folder with a particular name. And then inside that, uh, you need to uh, put all these ICO file. Now, if you saw that I downloaded that file, uh, and let's go to this XML file, these icons that you just downloaded needs to be renamed into these uh, particular names. So if you want to create a new file, which is right here, then it needs to be new.ico, then open I, dot ICO or save or save as or save as or save all and so on. Okay. So download all the ICO file, <coughs> copy it here into 
the roaming notepad plus plus uh, toolbar icons dot folder then under that create any custom file name uh, folder name that you would like so i just said my npp dot ico file and then inside that you just down uh, just copy all your ico file and as i said make sure that you uh, put all the names correctly however you want okay so just i'll show you a quick example so that since i already have some of these i, I just want to show you guys the actual process so let's pick um, yeah this one so this is a Millennium Falcon. So go to ICO and then I pick 256, download. Okay, and then I'll open that and I'll copy that and bring it into this folder. Right, and then I'm going to, let's see, how do we want to put it? So maybe let's use it as a zoom. Okay, so it's uh, zoom in, I think. This is the name of the icon so i'll call it zoom in so let's rename that to zoom hyphen in okay okay so i already have okay i already had one so it's actually find i should say that so it's find and let's confirm that there should be yeah, right there find so i was looking at this is zoom in zoom out this is actually find um so we just rename that so so if you you still need to do one additional thing and so in this for uh, this xml file if you scroll down these are all comments you can see this is all xml comments the only option you have is right at the end and here the toolbar icon it allows you to create your own custom folder name and so if you remember if i go back we call this my npp dot uh, ico icons right that is the folder that i uh, i had and so you simply type that uh, whatever your custom folder name is okay and then you just simply restart your Notepad++. And if everything goes right, then we will see a Millennium Falcon right here. So I'm going to close this, and then I'm going to open Notepad++, and look at that. You have a really cool custom icon. Now, if you are looking at an icon, and if, it look, if it's looking smaller, then you can go to Settings, go to Preferences, and then here there is an option for a large or small. So if I go to uh, a smaller, then you can see it's it automatically... Uh, reduce the size of the icon so it doesn't look big one because you know the way in which icon files are they have a multiple resolution inside that ICO file and so you can change however you want and then if you really don't like this then event you just remove this uh, folder name so if I go and and if I save this and if I open you can see it, it went back to the original uh, original one right so let me do Okay, now I show that folder, save this, close, and then reopen. And you can see it is nicely showing all these. Now, one thing you would also notice, and let me make it a little bigger, that you might think, what about these icons? Why is it not showing? Well, there are two icons for cut, copy, and paste, because when it's there is nothing to cut, it basically has this disable icon. So if you're really thorough, then what you could do is you can take those icon files and then convert it into a, a, like a disabled or great icon. And so then you can create or you can save that as a underscore disabled and then it will also show up. But as you can see, if I select it, all of a sudden cut and a copy shows up. Now you might wonder why the paste is not coming. So it's because I don't have anything copied yet. So if I do control C, and if I do this, now you can see that is a paste icon is showing up also. And then what about these two? Well, we haven't done any saving yet. So if I change uh, my file, then all of a sudden Notepad++ knows that you have changed something. So this is for a save or save all. And so here is how you can actually create a fun environment by using your own custom icons. And as you saw, it was really easy to do that. And so I hope you like this video. If you did, please click on the like button. And if you like the content of this site, then please uh, consider subscribing. And if you have any other question like this, please feel free to ask that in a comment. And I will see if I can create a video for that. All right. Thanks. For